Like and subscribe! Woo! Hey kid, once upon a time, Llama destroyed the world! No way! Yes way, we even read a book about it. But how did Llama do such a thing? Excessive cake and donut consumption and overly tight dancing pants and apparently a black hole ripping open in the center of the universe? The usual way. That's usual. Now Llama is back, baby, and rocking the cradle of chaos. Should I be worried? More like excited. Storyteller? Well, Corny the Unicorn, if the world survived Llama before, I'm hoping it could survive Llama again. We'll see about that. Uh -huh. yeah. So grab your end of world supplies, maybe get something hard to cover your head. Why? Just, just a basic safety precaution. And let's go to the cradle of chaos. And really any kind of protective hat will do. A hard hat, a Viking hat, uh, a wooden bowl, you know. The usual head coverings in times of potential chaos and calamity. Here we go. Oh, here we go. With the donuts already. Donuts and llamas, a dangerous combination. Hmm. I see. We have a backpack full of cake, which seems like a brilliant idea. But is it? Hmm. Long, long ago, Llama rocked the cradle of chaos. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama, with his customary big, innocent-looking eyes. Hmm. Yesterday, yesterday was Llama's birthday, and Llama celebrated his birthday how he always did, surrounded by his best friends, wearing his fanciest party hat and his finest birthday suit and dining lavishly on donuts with extra sprinkles. It's your birthday. Yay! Yay! And we've got the pig friend and the rabbit friend and the other llama friend and llama does look really good and festive and all is well in the land so far. It was delicious, spectacular. Why it tasted so spectacular, he didn't know. But it filled his tummy and it filled his thoughts. He could not think of anything else the rest of the day. Look at that. All he's doing is dreaming of donuts. Oh, yeah. I feel that about cookies. <laughs> I feel like that about cheese. Yeah, we understand, Llama. We totally get them. Yep. Those two walk into a room and there's thoughts of cheese and chocolate chip cookies everywhere in the air. At Topiary Club, his desires took shape. Donut shape. At Science Club, he found holes in every theory. Dad. Dad. Hmm. Hmm. Funny how that works. At Sleepover Club, Llama dreamed, sweet dreams are made of these. Dangerous dreams. Dreams so sweet and dangerous that they would lead him down an epic path of delicious destruction. <laughs> oh no, but why are these delicious dreams so dangerous? Let's take a closer look, shall we? There it is, the classic pink sprinkle donut that Llama is totally obsessed with. And then, wait a minute, what is this? Some sort of electrified five pantaloon situation. There are buttons in there and there's plans and there's a wrench and some screws and the screws are loose. Ho -ho. Today, Llama decided to make his dreams come true. The dreams with the sprinkly donuts and the electrified pants, I'm guessing, and the plans and the loose screws. Hmm. So, he did what any rational llama of science would do. He packed slices of emergency cake, shimmed into his shiny new time travel pants. <gasps> they are special pants. And then what? And then went back in time to his birthday so that he could eat his birthday donut one more time. Time travel pants. Vroom. 
Honestly, this sounds like a brilliant idea. What could go wrong? Famous last words. But Llama did not know the first rule of time travel pants. Llama had not read the instruction manual. The one that says the must read instruction manual. What did he think must read meant? It means blah, 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 boring. I'm too smart for this instruction manual. So instead of traveling back to his birthday yesterday, Yesterday, Llama warped right past it, past the donut, past yesterday, past the past. What? There's there's his birthday. Whoa, but we're going just past it. And he's trying to reach for it, but no, he can't catch up to it. And he's gone past the past too. Long, long ago, Llama had traveled back long, long ago to a time of tubular hair, gnarly tunes, and the most radical pants ever created. His birthday donut was not here. No. But something from this other time called to Llama. Hmm, something familiar? What could it be? Mm, any idea what era this might be? Big boombox, gnarly tunes, tubular hair. Okay, it was the 80s. You probably don't remember them at all. The 1980s, by the way, not the 1880s, in case you were wondering. A different donut. <gasps> Is that what he remembered? A different donut from the past? Sweet and spectacular with extra, extra sprinkles. And look at there is a birthday. And do you see that? He went past his last birthday. I think he went back into the birthday from his past, past, past. And I think this guy right here is Baby Llama. <gasps> The donut looked lonely sitting there all alone. Did he not see that there's another llama there and it's probably his donut? And llama had a special place in his heart for lonely sweets. So llama did the only thing he could think of to help the poor donut feel less lonely. He is such a giver. Burp. Mm -mm -mm. Everything's about to go seriously wrong now. Llama had broken the second rule of time travel pants, a rule not meant to be broken. Never change or eat the past. You never time travel to the past and change it. That's like the basic rule. If you've seen Back to the Future or any movie involving time travel, you know that the minute that you go back there and you change something, you've changed the future. And then like the whole metaverse and multiverse and universe and Blah, 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 verses are all like completely messed up now forever and ever. That's how that goes. He had changed the past. He devoured every crumb, every delicious sprinkle. He would pay dearly for it. Oh. Filled with delight and donut, Llama warped back to the present without a care in the world. Oh, look at there. Look who's been caught up in the vorp text. Little did he know, someone, someone followed him home. Today, again, again. It was today, again. And Llama was face to face with a peculiar individual. Rumble, rumble, rumble. A peculiar and hungry individual from the past. Now, Lama wasn't sure who this hungry looking stranger was. He hasn't figured it out. But there was something about the shy baby Lama that reminded him of past things that he did not want to be reminded of. So Lama chose his next words very carefully. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. I am Llama, repeated Baby Llama as he opened Llama's cupboard. Now Llama dislikes strangers taking his name, <laughs> but not as much as Llama dislikes strangers taking his snacks. Really now, I guess he has no recollection of stealing that lonely donut that was someone else's. 
Still, Llama was a gentleman, so he made Baby Llama feel welcome, pouring him a lovely cup of tea. And he made Baby Llama a time travel diaper. Oh. And then he made Baby Llama disappear. Ta-da! Vorp, whoop! Okay. Baby Llama doesn't know how to work the time traveling diaper because again nobody has read the manual least of all the baby who we don't even know has reading skills so this is going to be interesting but baby llama came back oh he was a quick learner Vorp. oh he came back again with friends Vorp. again and again with a whole cast of characters from the past and the present, including a diva flamingo and a witch fox. Very cool. And that guy has my hat. That's weird. And, and, and like a Robin Hood bear and a caveman llama and a princess. And these came from clearly the court of Versailles. But each time baby llama came back, his time travel diaper had an accident and brought back others. Warp, warp, warp. Diapers. They're always having accidents, right? Even the time traveling ones. And they kept coming back with even more interesting creatures like a purple unicorn and 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 this creature with a top hat and a bird with also a hat and a dog with a hat. Everybody has hats. Oh, I, yeah, I guess everybody does have a hat. Tomorrow! It was tomorrow, and tomorrow's were Llama's spa days. But on this tomorrow, there would be no fuzzy slippies or lavender-scented bubble baths. Oh no, because we are in crisis. This tomorrow, Llama faced a crisis of historic proportions. Dad, said Llama nervously, Dad, repeated Baby Llama even more nervously because what's happening? We have an owl in a toga and, and we have a mummy cat and we have a Scottish fox and we have a pig with my hat on and, and, and you know, Queen Louis the Seventeenth is here and this is Cecile with a monocle and this Princess and princess have been displaced from the Renaissance Festival, and these turtles were going out to the opera and clearly were zapped away at the moment that they were going in. And, and there's a dog that is clearly some sort of a private investigator, and Captain Hook Hair. Llama's house was a battleground of chaos. Prehistoric warhogs laid siege to the cupboards, buccaneer bun buns were raiding the cubbies in the closet. Oh no, not a condiment war. Oh no, spoiled chips on the ground and ah, oh, a perfectly good broken egg and Oh, no. No! Not a beautiful chocolate cupcake on the ground! This is a tragedy! It is a tragedy, and we're crying over spilt water, and the curtains are probably not going to be any good, and there goes our espresso cups. Over in the party room, ancient cave llamas, cave llamas from the prehistoric times, were, were, they, they were clubbing, but I don't mean like clubbing like oons, 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 like literally with clubs, they were clubbing things, while futuristic ropacas... <laughs> Did the robot. <laughs> because again, it's this 80s music, so they're definitely doing the robot. <laughs> it was the worst dancing llama had ever seen. The past and the future looked grim. Da, 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 da. Don't look. Oh no, baby llama's being exposed to such insanity. Time was running out. In a matter of minutes, Llama's house would be torn apart, his inventions smashed, his portraits mustached, and worst of all, worst of all, the secret cake seller would be ruined. There's a secret cake seller? The, the, the cake seller must be shaved! All that cake, piles of cake, more cake than anyone Llama could ever lift. Llama needed help, but could he trust Baby Llama 
with his most precious sweets. I've got this. Where do you think you're going, Green Bear? In to help? No, you can't go into that cradle of chaos, but I have the appropriate headwear. I agree, but I simply cannot let you go into this cradle of chaos. It's just too dangerous, Green Bear. Uh. Too dangerous to let him have access to that much cake. But back to the llama drama at hand. We have a cake seller. Everything is in chaos. And the llama is wondering if he can trust baby llama with his most precious sweets. What do you think, hmm? Gurgle. He could not. The poor little guy is hungry. So llama dashed for the cake, and baby llama dashed for the cake. Oh, it's a race against time and each other. I am llama, cried llama, turning on his time travel pants. I am llama, repeated baby llama, as he turned on his time travel diaper. But neither llama nor baby llama had read the 40-second rule of time travel pants. There's a 40-second rule? Even I didn't know that, and I have watched all the time traveling movies. Vroom, boom! Llama and baby llama shot back through the pass in a blur, and the piles of cake were lost somewhere in time. <laughs> He'll be fine, eventually. Long, long ago, ding, again. Llama and Baby Llama found themselves long, long ago. Ding! Again. And Llama finally, finally noticed something. Hmm? Something familiar. What's going on? Something sad and lonely that he had tried to forget before. What is happening right now? This party. The donut that he shouldn't have devoured, this face in front of him, all were his from long, long ago. He finally figured it out. Baby Llama was Llama as a baby. And as Llama looked at himself, he knew what Baby Llama wanted, what he really wanted. He knew what made sweet birthday treats the sweetest and most spectacular. And it wasn't extra sprinkles. It's not? Is it extra icing? So Llama made Baby Llama a fancy party hat. Ah. Llama gave Baby Llama his slice of emergency chocolate cake. Oh, that was very kind, all things considered. Dat, said Llama. Dat, repeated Baby Llama. And then Llama helped Baby Llama not feel so lonely. I am Llama, introduced Llama. I am Llama, repeated Baby Llama shyly, sharing his cake. <gasps> I am Pig. <gasps> Look, it's the friends that we saw at the beginning of the book. Remember when he was celebrating his birthday? The, like the first time a long time ago, but it was actually only like yesterday, I think. But yeah, the rabbit and the other llama and the pig. In fact, I can't even wait anymore. We have to go back to the beginning to see. And the, there it is, there it is. Birthday party, fancy suit, special hat, birthday donut, and pig had an it's your birthday sign. And there was the rabbit and there was the other llama friend. And here is... The pig is a baby, and the other llama's a baby, and the and the rabbit has diapers on still. And this is how they all met. Now, llama was many things. A rock star, a tea connoisseur, a swashbuckler of the high seas. But most of all, llama was a llama of science. He knew that there were spectacular donuts, spectacular cakes out there just waiting to be discovered. In the future with Ding, his friends. So Llama helped himself make friends for the future by flying into his own past. Yes, he used his time traveling powers for good. Did he now? Oh boy. Have you realized that now Baby Llama has a time traveling diaper and can steal donuts from the past, present, and future? I 
didn't stop to think about that. And what about all those prehistoric war hogs and the robo llamas and all those confused, angry animals in his house from the past? We never did see them go back. Which means that the time-space continuum has been helplessly broken, ruined, and destroyed! Oh no! Oh yes! Llama possibly... Probably! ...just destroyed the world, but the thing is that we haven't even realized it yet in our current time. Oh no! I'm gonna go check the cookies! I'm gonna go check the bats! <laughs> what are you gonna check, White Rat? I'm fine. He's not into cheese, so... I am super good. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go check the cakes and anything else that hasn't been already eaten by Green Bear anyway. Be careful out there, kid. You don't know what kind of chaos might be awaiting you around the corner.